Hello everyone, this is the second video of the landing gear assembly and modeling. Today we are going to model the, this shaft right here and this piston um, shown here. So let's start with the shaft. I'm going to bring the picture so you can follow uh, what I'm doing. So let's create a new part. Now let's go to tools and options so we can change the, the units to millimeters. From here we can take the front plane and create a, um, a simple circle. This is going to be 40 millimeters in diameter. Let's hit OK. Let's provide us some extrusion here. Here I'm going to select the mid plane. This is going to help me mirror some features later on. The extrusion will be 340 millimeters. So that's the overall length up to here of the, of the shaft. So let's hit OK. Next, we're going to create these round features on the side of the shaft. For that, I can take the right plane and let's create a sketch so I'm going to draw a line up to there I need another line here let's provide some dimensions this is 20 so now in order to create that round shape let's create a circle and just put it anywhere for now and let's dimension this as 20 millimeters so now i want the center of the circle to be in line with that line so that dimension we can make it zero so after you do that we can drag it drag the circle here and i want this i want the edge of the circle to be um coincident with this end of the uh, line so let's provide a quick dimension here and let's make that 10 because the circle is 20 so half will be 10. next i'm just gonna draw a line to here and i'm going to create a relationship between the circle and the line and i want that to be tangent and I can trim a few components that I don't that I don't really need. So these yellow dimensions are um, showing the conflicts or over constraints. So I'm just gonna delete some of them. After you do that, we can hit OK and let's use the revolve feature. The sketch is already selected, so we're just gonna select the axis of revolution and let's hit OK. Now we can just mirror that feature that we created and we're going to mirror around the front plane here and let's hit OK. Okay, so after we do that, we can apply a fillet. If you notice, there is a fillet on this edge. So let's go to fillet. Fillet radius is 10 millimeters, so all we have to do is select the edge, select that one, and let's select the other one as well. And hit OK. And this is how you create that, uh, that this shaft. So next we're going to create the, the piston. And the piston is going to look like this. So for that, let's now create another part. We're going to follow the same steps. New part. And then let's go to tools. And then select options. And under document properties, let's select the units two millimeters. For this one here, we're, we're also using the revolve command. So let's take the front plane. And I'm going to draw a center line for a 
just for reference. Now let me sketch a few few lines here. Check that line. So once you have that, let's provide some dimensions here. So this is 380. This dimension here. Let's provide the bottom dimension first. So this is supposed to be 22.5 millimeters. And this one here is 35. And this dimension right here, we can make a 15. And let's hit OK. So after we have created that section, we can hit OK. And let's use the revolve feature to revolve that. Um, if you notice, the center line was already selected as the axis of revolution, and the sketch was also selected for the revolve. After you, those two have been selected, let's hit OK. And this is how you create the, uh, the piston. So this concludes video number two. Uh, on the following video, we are going to create the um, the strut component, which is this one right here. So this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.